All right, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number eight for today. And in the last episode, we ended up in Champ 2 Division 2. And in the last game, I showed you guys what we could do to play around someone who likes to stay on the ball a lot and who might not actually be passing the ball too much. So we played a different position and really learned how to incorporate our gameplay and still play a really good position uh, to support that player. Uh, hopefully you don't get too many of those players who uh, really take over the game and, and kind of like are equally helping, but also uh, being a detriment to the team. Uh, in a way but before we get into the games of course we have to jump into the comment meme of the day and today we have J naps instead of J naps sounds the exact same but looks a little bit different uh thank you squared for this one i am very excited for this one okay i found a pretty good image of J naps he's already got his hand in his head and his eyes closed it's the only image i can find where J naps had his eyes closed uh but we do have uh, J naps worst worst day of his life apparently uh, i'm not sure what this image is from but uh, i just love chicago in the background just being there for some reason very surprised so as always gotta grab j naps here and uh go from there and see what we can we can make of it all right that's a good start we've got j naps cut out it's a little bit messy but we'll clean it up um and then i got a picture of just a bed with some pillows so i'm just gonna grow this up real quick grow this up scale this up that looks pretty good to me so far he's already in a pretty decent position maybe tilt it a little bit I'm liking the size of everything. Now what I want to do is grab this image here and just grab the front of the pillow or the uh, the sheets and make that its own layer in front of JNAP. So now it should look like this. <laughs> okay, and that's just time to clean up uh, some of his outer bits here, like the uh, parts of his shirt. I right, was looking pretty good so far. I think I need to get rid of some of the blue highlights in his uh, his hair because of the background of that image. This is already looking really good, but just to perfect the image, we got to grab everything and then smooth it out on the edges just to get them to match the scene a little bit maybe i'll just mess with the levels and then one finishing touch and you know what just for good measure let's add another i don't know why i'm being so i'm getting so detailed with this but let's add a shadow below his uh his body here <laughs> don't ask me why i'm doing this just to add a bit more color we got some blue sheets but i think this is perfect i think i'm happy with this this is jay naps uh thank you again to squared for this recommendation like i said if you want to drop a comment of your favorite name and meme I'll try to make it in the next episode. But let's get into the games. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, we have game number one. We got Canadian Coast and uh, Juan and Paka. Let's see what happens. I'm going to cheat up here a little bit. So, missed kickoff by the guy in the corner on the other team. It's going to be dangerous off the wall, but it goes off the backboard. Now I got some space. If I can keep this close, the team wants to go for it instead, which is totally fine. But, you know, if, if someone on the other team is going to jump out for that ball, you need to go up for that and make sure you clear, uh, stay near the ball. I'm going to wait for him to make a touch to me. I see he passed the ball. Now this guy's trying to pass, uh, push up. So I'm going to pop it to the right side and make him chase over here. And now the ball spilled in the mid. Team has some space. Good try on the shot. It's going to be a save. This guy's backwards, so I can go for this ball and, and hit it before he can go for it. I'm getting bumped off by this player. Pass the mid. That's pretty good possession play from Juan there. A good cut from Canadian to uh, I almost called him Canadian Toast. All right, so this guy boomed it out, but now I have a free ball and I can boom it up. Now, the best place to put that is off the backboard above the net rather than off to the side like that. My team wants to go. I'm probably playing a little too slow once again. I need to get a good balance of playing fast. And I'm just trying to show that you don't have to play very fast. This guy's not going to go because I'm close to the ball. There we go. Now my teammate has a free ball. I'm just trying to play 50-50s. This is the, probably the fastest team we've played Uh in in the series so far oh my teammate went for the back corner boost but he did get he did recover in time but a strange ro rotation there to go for the uh the corner and then move up field when we have uh we're going on defense there so that ended up working out it's a good try my 50 50 earlier was a little bit of an overcommit. as you see that guy actually backed up so now i have some space i'm trying to avoid the bumps see if back i can deal with it it's pretty tough good save from one though so a few mistakes here and there from both teams but uh, you can see that teammates are able to recover for mistakes. That's a big boom. Now, the guy might go again, so I'm just going to be a little careful to clear it over to the side. Now, in me doing that, you can see that I've left, I let go possession, so I'm relinquishing the ball. Oh, that's a really good play. This is kind of open, so I should probably take this ball and, and uh, roll it in. Really good uh, really good pass for my teammate. That's what I'm saying. Like My teammate saw that on the wall there that someone was going for the ball, so he ended up popping it out. But if there was no player present, you don't play the ball the same way. You... Make sure that you keep it close. If no one challenged him on the wall there, Canadian Coast could have went for the back corner boost and, and uh, dribbled it. Whoa, this is tough here. It's going to be a, a goal too. A good save. 
I ended up recovering it too. I probably should not have saved that, um, but it was I didn't even mean to save the second one. He kind of just shot it right at me. Sometimes you just get lucky. This ball's in mid here. Pop off the backboard. My teammate's still rotating out, so it's not going to be a play for them. I could rotate. Uh, I could cut in here and go for a play and try to get the ball close. What would have been better there is to catch it and dribble, but so far I haven't seen too much control from players in champ two so far, so I'm just going to... I mean, there's been a couple dribble opportunities, but nothing like super, super close here. This guy cutting here is fine. I don't really mind this. I'm just going to back out. Really good bump from them. My teammate covered it though. He can go grab that corner boost. I'm going to wait for him to see what he does. I'm not pushing up yet because my teammate's going to have a ball and then I can wait for the, the play to develop here. Now I'm free ball. I'm going to pop it up. See if my team wants to turn. Just kind of, just kind of testing the waters of what the opponents are going to do. This is kind of awkward here, but luckily that guy didn't keep challenging. Now I can stay close to the ball. The biggest takeaway from all of these games, all these uh, episodes, is just how much you can outthink the opponent rather than outperform as far as like positions and stuff. Like, I'm not doing anything too crazy, just kind of popping the ball into the corner. We got a goal lead, we have a minute left. It hasn't been the most eventful game, other than that one save was pretty, pretty crazy, but... Alright, they kind of let go of the ball here, so I'm just going to turn on this. And see, I'm just letting him push into the ball. I'm not going to stay with it. Really good positioning. I'm going to reward that he was in the mid there. And then really good pass. Really good save from them. See, as you can see, that's a big risk for me to go for that. The teammate did, uh, did uh, recover nicely, though. He's playing really well. I'm going to take the boost before he grabs it. And now I can just rotate behind my teammate. There's a good chance for him to see what he does with his dribble. Really good flick. I got to wait. See if they finish it off the shot. Really good finish. That was a really, really good play to make make uh, you know a, an advantage off of that 1v2. Now what I could have done there is instead of going into the net, I could have sat out in midfield and went for the the backboard uh, read, which, which is what I would have normally done instead of just sitting in the net there. But off of that, re off of that play, off of 1v2, is a really, really good opportunity. But um, oh, that's a good finish. Maybe. Oh, it's not quite in. So they pass it to me so they tried to make a really good save um but they ended up what they ended up doing was popping the ball back in the mid right here so he popped up and kind of panicked and passed it middle i'm just waiting for that opportunity you don't want to get too close to the net, the net even though it's like looking like it's a really good position sometimes the best option is just sitting and surveying the land out in front of the net Did a bit of a faster kickoff and it worked out for us now I'm low boost, and what I could do is go for the back corner instead of just sitting in mid with 16. You could pick up a few pads. Now, see how I go for the backboard just by driving up the wall instead of aerialing when I have the position to do so? And the guy had a chance there, but he was going to hit the floor. You've completed all your new driver challenges. Did I? Nice. What is happening? I completed a bunch of empty challenges. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next game. We move up to J uh, Champ 2 Division 3. So we're getting closer and closer to that Grand Champ rank, which is going to be a real test of uh, how to, you know, move up into the SSL ranks because Grand Champ is definitely like the the prison of uh, low SSL players. They It's really tough to break into SSL, and once you're there, it's uh, maybe a little bit easier to play with your teammates, but... I, every time I get into GC3 or GC2, that like whenever the the uh, the season resets, that is when it is the toughest to get into SS, break into SS, SSL because it's such a wide range of players and you never know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates. All right, next game we got. Um, I'm not even sure if I can say some of their names. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move into the game. There we go. All right, good challenge. And I can wait here in mid. Go for a pop. See what they do with that. Since it's on oh, shot on goal, but that was definitely not on target. Really good aerial for my teammate. Really good clear as well. He let go of the ball though, so I can just pop it towards the corner. Let my teammate get out. Now I can wait for it. Maybe aerial this and pop this middle if he wants uh, to get there. Really good save from them. We can see that the, the play is already developing a lot faster in these games. Can I let go of the ball. I'm going to force it back corner and see what my teammate does. And you can see my teammate was, was ready and, and waiting in that position to see what I was going to do. Really good. Really good play. Really good. These are these people are dribbling a lot more in this game. All right, so they do get one player out of the game, but you can see the other player got uh, demoed in the back end. So he did uh, 
I don't. I just said the same thing twice. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I was trying to say the one guy cut and the one guy got demoed out of the game. So it was really good that the guy cut to slow the play down. You're trying to pass. I'm going to wait for my, my teammate to see what he does. Don't want to overcommit with him. Now the bump was good. This could be a good chance for them. See what they do. Waiting in the middle of the net to, to see what he's going to do with the shot. A lot of pressure here, but nothing too threatening. The bump was an interesting choice when he couldn't see what his teammate was doing. So I'm going to pass this over to him. Good try. He had to cut it early because the other guy was uh, being aggressive on him there in the corner. Now there's some space in the corner here. I'm just going to tap it so I can keep close. Pinch with me. Okay, he was too scared to do that. Really good bump from this guy. This play right here is going to be a little dangerous if I don't jump for it. Not the best touch, but we'll see what this guy does with it. There we go. See, I can leave it for my teammate because he's behind me. A lot of people will chase that ball and just go for it immediately. I'll go for a big clear. So this guy doesn't need to aerial. He could have sat on the wall, but he just wasted half, half or more of his boost. He did recover. I can tap this ball back to get, get close. Once again, he's going to hit it across. And now I can get in the way. And you can see that I actually baited the opponents. Now, if you're comfortable, you can go for that shot across. But I'm going to go for a pass across the net and see if he can go for the finish. Good try. Now, because of that passing play, I'm going to be last man for a little bit. And once again, see what Snotty can do in the corner. He goes for that early challenge, but you can see how awkward that is now that the ball's in front of the net. Um, because that 50-50 was not the best. But if he just faked it, it's not always the play to fake it, but um, in that position, like uh, it can come to me if it goes past him. Yeah, I'm last man here. I'm just gonna go for an aerial and try to get a touch. The guy was really, really far away from the ball. So you can take advantage of that if you wait for it. Ooh, good finish. Nice play. So the guy jumped for the air. Make sure you don't not jumping for bro uh, <laughs> rocket league balls. Make sure, make sure you're not jumping for balls that are too far away from you when there's an opponent ne like near the ball or under the ball. Because there's a lot of chances that uh, a lot of times where they're gonna go up for it and block it and get it in the way. And you can see that was that was what caused that goal was just me making any touch over to the side. Now I'm last man here, but as you can see, I'm near the ball. See if the guy goes for it. Nice play. Teammates aerialing, aerialing for it. So because he's upfield right here, I'm just going to make sure I kind of stay close. Now they're both waiting on the corner again. What I can do is pop this around to the right. And I've talked about this in the previous episodes where you want to, instead of going towards target where players expect it most of the time, I'm going, this is a really good boost steal, by the way, from this guy. Now this, boost, uh, this ball comes in mid. Instead of um, always going towards target, um, Try to play around them and find space where you can outplay them in a way that works. I'm going to fake challenge that just so it comes out to me. You can see he's panicking. Or not panicking, but he's waiting uh, patiently. That passes across. And a really good finish. I jumped over the guy that was trying to demo me or bump me. And that little chip was maybe a little bit too much. The way that I... Um, the way that I popped that over that player and he was a little bit confused but the player on the back end that was making a you know defensive stance because of that player got outplayed he pushed up a little bit too hard as last man because he has to cover too many options and those those cuts I'll go into free play really quick but those cuts are really potent even at like high level SSL um, because when the ball is here and you're you know the player coming at you from over in this direction let me say over here they're coming towards the ball right um, and you're coming out at an angle where they think you're going to go towards the net and you chip it in like wide around like that just doing I would practice this in free play going around the, the ball really uh, really sharp Timing it with like the the chip of the ball The way you can pop the ball around this these these cuts these like deep cuts on the ball are gonna be really really good on uh, Higher level opponents because they're expecting you to come in for a 50 50 or something and then you come in for that that chip around the one player and then you can have some space here to go for a shot and pop it wherever you want to. Getting those midfield outplays are going to be really, really important more and more as you go up the, the, the ladder in the uh, leaderboard. Uh, because players are going to be much more aggressive, going to be constantly on the ball. So you have to make sure you uh, bob and weave and, you know, use your boost effectively. Also, um, you can add more, more levels of difficulty where you kind of, um, let's say I turn off boost here. So there we go. Um, you can kind of, uh, you know, play around doing these chips while also grabbing a boost pad. You know, trying to keep your boost up. Chip like this. Grab a few boost pads out wide. And then, you know, getting used to where you can find positions on the, on the map where you can keep your, keep your boost and then get, like, some sort of flick at the end. So, uh, as you as you level up your gameplay, you're going to find that you're gonna, you can path around the field in a way that you can still grab boost. And a lot of players will flip into the ball uh, at the higher level where, um, like, let's say there's a ball rolling here. And 
you can go for the ball here, but you can flip over into the boost, and then now you have a position on the ball. Um, that's going to be more and more useful as you go. Um, but let's get into the next game, the last game here of the episode, and uh, see if we can apply some of that stuff and, and use those chips to our advantage. All right, that last queue took a long time, but we got the last game here. We got uh, Wake, Dark, and Gregory. He's got a Season 8 Grand, uh, grand cha uh, Champ 2 uh, tournament winner, so... Well versed in the champ 2 rank here. Oh, he's leaving the boost for me. Okay, so I'll go for the clear. So I'm going to pop it across because my teammate left the boost for me. Oh, he's pushing up for this. Might get beat. I like that he's trying to make him do something, but he missed the boost here. Let's see what happens. This guy's freestyling. Really good shot, but it's off target. Good cut. Let's see what happens here with uh, this corner. Good first touch chance here both of them are going for it though so let's see what happens if uh, in mid here if i can go for the shot or backboard pop up the backboard the team was a little bit scared to go back a big miss from him i have some space i was waiting to see what uh wake would do with that touch bad touch from them you can see that uh gregory's a player who's practiced his mechanics we'll see how his positioning is and see if oh, that's really good really good demo i'm gonna pass this off the backboard again my teammate's still playing a little patient. That's fine. Let's go for this. We could pop over one, but not a great follow-up touch. Could have made uh, control there instead of popping the ball away, as um, there was nobody in midfield. It happens here. He's going for a freestyle play again. He's going for a musty flick. Now I can go for the uh, the touch, and I almost own gold. A bit of a wave dash here. I'll slow down a little bit. I, I mean, wave dashes are definitely something you can do at this rank. I'm, I'm sure a lot of players do wave dash. So it's not like I, the end of the world if I do it. But a good touch out of the corner. He ended up missing the boost, though. Pops it across, but there's no one to be threatening the ball there off of that play. This could be a good chance for them. I'm going to support my teammate by coming in and, and challenging. I'm waiting for him to spawn a little bit before I go for the uh, the, the challenge on the flick. I can come chase this down because the ball's rolling into their corner. I can take their boost and then come behind my teammate. Do they do? Good demo. That's the time on the shot. And a good finish. That really should be scored. I think that there's nobody there to be, uh, you know, challenging the ball because Gregor's way off onto the side. So I have so much time to score that. That's a really good pass from my teammate to go for the uh, the challenge while the guy's confused in the corner there. He didn't really know what to do with the ball and he, he sat still behind the ball. Uh, the best thing to do there is challenge and just you know, go for the demo like my teammate did. My teammate can go for it. I made a, a few... Oh, good setup here. Really good first touch. Really good save too. Now my teammate's in the net, so I can let this ball roll back and then wait for um, something to happen. Like for someone to push up or something and wait for my teammate to get behind me. Same thing here. Waiting for Gregory. He's trying to go for a bump or something, but the ball's off target, so it's never threatening if the ball's on target. That's a really good passing play. Big miss though. There we go. To pop out. It looks like he wants to follow it. Just making sure I, I watch for if he's going to go for that or not. Big misses. He's going to pop it across. This guy likes to freestyle, so I was assuming he's going to go for that, so I challenged. All right, big miss. See, my teammate's playing really well. He's going going back on the, the net to make sure um, that he he waits to see what they're going to do. We could try. He, he's saying whoops because he let go of the ball when the ball was rolling to him there, but he could have let it roll up the wall or something. We're trying the flip reset. Really good pass across, but uh, Wake was too scared to stay in mid there. Nothing too threatening from Gregory here. Really good wall defense for my teammate. He could follow it up. Really good wall play. And good finish. So uh, that was all for my teammate playing a really good... Uh, defensive stance and being really passive on the backboard when they were trying to make a play and i saw that my teammate wasn't quite going to make it but he uh he did get the first clear and gave us some space to pop it down the field i mean really honestly that like the the way that dark is playing is a really good position on the field to you know constantly survey like what they're going to do uh, i see that he's like trying to leave me the boost too so he's this guy's a very selfless player so far what i've, I've noticed there's a good chance here but once again we can just wait See what they're going to do. They're going to pop forward. He's chasing down the field, which is no problem. My teammate's uh, conf like a little awkward here, so I'm just going to wait for what happens. I like that. And he's staying with it, too. Maybe a demo there. That's a really good try. Demo. 
my voice cracked a little bit. This ball's rolling towards the net. You can wait for it to go into a spot where you can be the shooter, but then miss. Oh my god, what a pinch. Didn't mean to do that, but that's the idea, is just to be, like, when you're ever you're really uncomfortable with trying to be in net, a lot of people default to going into the net always, and it's not always the right the right play. You see how like much they're they're respecting the fact that I'm near the ball. I just need to be near it and not really. I don't need to do too much with it whenever it is near me. But the the presence on the ball is what's going to cause a lot of pressure. But right here I'm going to pop this up. See if my teammate can go for it. Good try. Although Gregory just waited. Oops. We'll, get, we'll give them two seconds to see what they can make on a play here on the uh, on the last uh, shot. Because there was a save that I, I I think we probably should have been scored on. That one that was uh, near the net. But Wow. Okay, well, that's... He just scored? Oh, man. That was close. He did his best. Wow. <laughs> You're on camera. All right. Well, uh, Danny, I think we need to censor that word. Awkward end to this uh, episode. I really think that Wake played really well. Um, he, he made some good positions. I think that Gregory was like, you know, it's one of those things where like someone who has mechanics, they always think like that their teammates, the ones that are not doing what they need to do um, because they have mechanics like, oh, I should be winning the games. And that's an example of like where outplaying the opponent rather than uh, without mechanics, rather than just positioning and stuff and making good plays. Um, is going to get you wins rather than, you know, relying on your mechanical ability to, because uh, it's not always going to be good. It's not always going to be uh, good mechanics. Everyone has bad days. Um, it's not like Gregory was playing bad by any means, but Wake had some good opportunities. Yeah, awkward end. But either way, hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Uh, all of these are in a playlist as always, so I'm going to drop this one in there as well. But until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.